in the night on it will glow it's like a light anyone have seen this correct yes sir so this is called a neon light you know how do they make this thing glow any any idea i think it's phosphorus right I, you think it is i think uh, it has something it's phosphorus gas inside it yes it, there is gas inside it okay and it is a continuous pipe kind of thing there is a opening for the entire this thing now they will supply current current means one side will be positive other side will be negative correct so from the wires okay or from a battery the current will be supplied through this okay now if you take an atom atom has a nucleus correct around this nucleus there are electrons in orbits just a rough representation correct there are electrons moving in the orbits now when you pass electricity any atom will get excited when it gets excited it will absorb energy and it will send a atom sorry an electron from the lower orbit to a higher orbit correct now an atom cannot be continuously excited after some time what happens it will de excite that means the electron which has absorbed the energy and went to the outer orbit comes back to its original place original orbit when this comes back it will emit energy in the form of light this is how these bulbs work how many of you understood correct it is nothing but when the electron is coming back de excited because it has absorbed energy when it is being excited it has to give out that energy so some kind of gases will give it in the form of a light correct this is how these neon bulbs work so do you know sun okay how is sun giving light to us how is sun giving light to us here in sun na the matter is in the form of plasma correct now take two atoms when they collide with each other this is called as a fusion reaction correct so that particle will vanish giving a lot of energy out this is how atomic bombs correct are made atomic bombs that means two atoms collide or fuse to with each other lead to a bombardment just they give out energy and those atoms which were actually materials vanish correct e is equals to mc square correct even if you take 1 gram into 3 into 10 power of 8 joules okay 1 gram is 10 power minus 3 kg so 3 into 10 power 5 joules here this uh, this is the amount of heat energy given out from 1 gram of a substance correct now to increase the temperature of 1 kg of soil how much energy do you need specific heat of soil 0.2 per kg joule yeah 2 0.2 joules per kg correct so if you take mud of 1 kg if you just give 0.2 joules the temperature will increase from 26 degrees centigrade to 27 degrees centigrade. understood now if you give 3 into 10 power of 5 joules what happens to its temperature 
3 into 10 power 5 into 0.2. Sorry, divided by 0.2 into 5. 15 into 10 power 5. So from 26, the temperature will increase to 15, 0, 0, 0, 26 degrees centigrade. This much hot, the soil will become if just one gram of a substance is converted into energy. This is how the sun is managing to give so much heat and so much energy to whole planet Earth. How many of you understood what is happening? Correct. Now, in on the sun, there are reactions like fusion, fission reactions, correct, which generate some kind of storms, which are both electric and magnetic storms. Correct. See, how many of you think for electricity to pass, you need a medium to conduct? Yes or no? Correct. That is the reason electric storms doesn't reach the earth. If not, we would have been like every five minutes, shock, shock, shock. Right? Is it happening? No. But how many of you think if I take two magnets, okay, they attach each other. Even if I go to outer space, these two magnets will attach each other. Understand? So magnetism doesn't need any kind of medium to pass. Clear? So these magnetic storms will come and hit our small earth. Correct? Now, see, <clears throat> one of the reasons why no other planets have life is these magnetic storms are very intense that they will kill everything on other planets. Correct. But it is not the case with the earth. We are not dying because of these magnetic storms. What happens is, see, earth has its own electric, sorry, magnetic field around it. Correct. Do you see the magnetic fields? Magnetic lines of flux. Correct. Now, when these magnetic storms, these are, these are called as magnetic storms they hit the earth, the earth will deflect these magnetic particles away from the earth. They don't reach the earth's surface. How many of you understood? Okay. So what happens, but what happens here on the earth in the atmosphere at around at around 100 kilometers at around 100 kilometers Okay, because this is small earth, I wrote only this is 100 kilometers, correct? Understood? So, at around 100 kilometers, here the gases, na, they will absorb this energy from the magnetic storms and get excited. Clear? But when they excite, they have to get de-excited also, like the neon bulbs. Correct? So, in the process of de-excitation, they give out light. This light is called as aurora. These are very beautiful. They look like this. Understand? How many of you understood how aurora is produced? Great. These are dancing lights, green, red, pink, yellow, etc. etc. Correct. They form at around 100 kilometers. They are greenish, white, red, yellow, etc. Caused by bombardment of gases in the outer, sorry, in the upper atmosphere by electric particles from the sun's magnetic field. Okay. Take it magnetic particles or electric particles. Because when a magnet travels, you know, correct, a magnet, when it changes flux, it gives out electrical field around it. Okay. So don't take it in literal sense. What is there in book, you read. But whatever concept I have taught you, it is, it is the correct concept. How many of you understood? Correct. Yes. The atoms, when they get de-excited, when they get de-excited, they produce aurora, like neon bulbs. Okay. 
here these aurora are produced close to north pole and south poles only because we are living close to the equator correct india is here i am standing here this is india we are living close to the equator we we, we don't see aurora above us aurora happens at north pole and south pole only because the particles are here correct so they are deflected like this do you see this picture how the deflection is happening zoom 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 up and down right so this is the north pole this is the south pole so this aurora can be seen only at north pole and south pole close to north pole and south pole if, if you take australia the southern parts of australia is close to the south pole correct so these guys see aurora correct aurora happening in this southern hemisphere happening in southern hemisphere this is called as aurora australis australis because people from australia tend to see it australia is like one of the major continents close to the south pole in the southern hemisphere like that's why it's given the name aurora australis aurora that is happening in the northern hemisphere northern hemisphere this is called as aurora borealis am i clear on this do i make sense right any doubts no shall i move on shall i move on here why are we learning this optical phenomena any idea why we are doing this no idea here we are doing this because here every optical phenomena will tell us something for example if there is a halo there is a halo halo will tell us dear pilot okay enjoy your flying that means no turbulence when you see halo there is no turbulence no icing you can safely fly that day at higher altitudes understood what is the importance of aurora when you see aurora how is it related to flying you see when you talk on a radio in your aircraft there is an antenna which sends the radio waves out correct now what is a radio wave radio wave is nothing but an electromagnetic wave correct so these are also magnetic particles correct with electric field around them so they interfere with radio communications whenever you see aurora of course it is beautiful i want to fly i want to experience this aurora when mid flight i really like it but i should know that whenever i see this there is a very high chance of radio interference radio communications will not be clear correct so aurora leads to radio interference clear now choose one which one do you want first rainbow halo corona you want corona no rainbow you want rainbow we'll see rainbow rainbow is very interesting here 